Every university has its landmarks, each one with its own history and special place in the hearts of alums. Here at MSU, there is nothing that says home like the bells of Beaumont Tower. Built in 1928, the John W. Beaumont Memorial Tower rises over 100 feet above the sacred circle of the MSU campus. The tower stands as a testament to MSU's commitment to education. Beaumont Tower stands on what was the northeast corner of College Hall, not only the first instructional building to be erected on the MSU campus, but the first building in the United States to be devoted entirely to the teaching of scientific agriculture. Beaumont Tower marks the birthplace of the entire land-grant system. I think it's just being here and the peace and serenity of it all. It just gives you a terrific feeling of, of sacredness and of, of beauty. I think that's pretty much it. It's a very relaxing time. Residing within the tower is the carillon, a precision musical instrument with 49 finely tuned bells that allow complex musical compositions covering at least two octaves. The bells range from 15 pounds to over two tons and are played from a special keyboard that permits control of expression through variation of touch. Presently, there are 170 carillons across the United States, including 13 in Michigan. The tower's bells and mechanics were refurbished in 1996, requiring teams from two continents to restore and enhance the carillon to its current state. Since then, Spartans have enjoyed the hourly chimes and a special summer concert series. The benefactor of the Summer Carillon series is Dr. Milton Milder, himself an institution at MSU, in memory of his wife, Kathleen. I first met her when somebody said, Milder knows German, you better check your translations. She had art books, books on music, books in the humanities, and I said to myself, this is a person I could live with. The Milder Concert Series attracts artists from around the globe to perform for grateful audiences. In 2000, so seven years ago, I had the opportunity to play it for a while. So this is the second time I'm here. It's actually a pleasure to play this one. Um, it combined the easy handling uh, and the, the sound of the, of the bells. Yeah, this instrument is for everybody. It's uh, you, like piano, you can stay at home. Yeah, and then uh, when you practice, nobody can hear. But this, if you practice or if you play, everybody can hear it. Well, I think the setting is beautiful, it's outstanding. I think it's relaxing, it's pretty out here. Pack a picnic dinner, meet my husband after work, and uh, lay it all out and fight our friends. What I like is when people come to me after a concert and say they heard a piece so and so on orchestra or piano, and they like it on the carillon as well. It's the only time that children can run around and enjoy themselves and not be shushed because they cannot disturb the artists involved. And it's wonderful that families can relax and sit back and enjoy music as it should be enjoyed. For more information on the Carillon and future concert series, go to www.msu.edu and search Carillon.